Hello and welcome to the qualifier race for the Utica Home Track Series event at Daytona. No restrictor plates. There's going to be some intense racing, but today we have 24 drivers here today battling for nine positions in Saturday's show. Now, we have an, a lot of entries on the list this week due to a lot of new entries into the Utica Home Track Series, plus a couple of familiar faces running a part-time schedule, choosing this race to be one of their events. On pole is Brian Benoit, car number 75. He made his debut last year at Mosport, the race before this event. He failed to qualify last week, but Brian Benoit on the pole this time. And right to the outside is the Russian rocket of Vladimir Petrov driving the Russian colors on the number 09 machine. Now, Vladimir Petrov is driving the rest of the season in place of Alex Allen, who has been released from the team. But look at that driver in third place. That's the 79 of Prudence Lil John. Car number 79, this car was made b by hand by just this one person. It took a while, but that car is currently running in second place and is going for the lead with a little help from Justin Benoit, car number 22, the Star Wars machine, going underneath. The only Toyota in this field, Prudence Little John, takes the race lead. We look back a little bit. We are focused on Ray Davis, car number 06. Now, he's the spot they're battling for in ninth place. And it looks like he's lost it to Alex Tanker, car number 34. We got a battle going here. There's going to be a lot of position jockeying for that ninth place position. Ray Davis having a good run at most port. The failed to qualify for Laguna Seca. He cannot beat Josh LeMay on points. Here we go, splitting the middle. It's Jonathan Benton's car number 92 running a third Aurelio Autosports entry. He's going to weave his way through them and make it into the top nine. So great job by him. Now we look a little further back in the field. This is Michael Creed, car number 01. One of the drivers making their, trying to make their first start. He's running for the Allen Motorsports team in a third entry. Nikki Allen um, moved herself from the team. This is car sponsored by Everlast. And there's a couple other drivers here that are also new, as you can see here. The car right below him, that is not Maria Camiso in the Mountain Dew car. That is Dion Scott in a Mountain Dew Chevy. He's trying to make the race, but he's currently pretty far back in the field with Dylan Young and Alex DeMarco. Michael Aurelio is a couple spots ahead of them. And there's the number one machine of Jack Darby that's battling with the 84 of Brendan Patterson and Ray Ta and uh, I mean Joshua Michael. Here we go. Alex Tanker, car number 34. He's great at these super speedways. And he's having a great run right now, just on the inside of that top nine. Now he's driving behind that bright yellow number 12 machine of Zach Saturday. He's one of three drivers along with Darby and uh, Thomas Green in the number 95. It's, uh, it's a little further back at the end of this tail pack. They're running for Phoenix, Indiana Motorsports, a new team in the series. They're going to be attempting the rest of the schedule. Here we go. We have a battle as Jerry Garrett tries to make the pass. And speaking of passes... Justin Benoit got to the lead, but Andrew Robinson decided he wanted to take it, and he's going to go into the lead. He leads Brian Benoit, and that green machine is Matt Duell, no longer running for RGE Motorsports. He's running for his own team. He's got Grand Theft Auto 5 on the car. We'll have to see how the 88 car does. He's looking for team members. And also, speaking of looking for team members, I wonder if the RGE Motorsports team is going to replace the 88 car, or if they're just going to focus on a two-car operation instead, as Brian Benoit, car number 75, dives underneath the number 43, and battles for the lead. We got this pack up near the front there. And Joseph Bryant is currently the car in ninth position. So that's the car to beat. As we are focused on him now. Now Alex Tanker is a little bit behind. But it's still quite a couple laps left. We have to see if they can make it up to the front. Now there is Joseph Bryant. He's getting a little draft line. Oh, whoa! Matt Jewell's going to check up the racetrack. He's almost going to put the 75 car into the wall. Zach Saturday runs behind him and gets a draft line. It looks like Jerry Guerra and Justin Benoit are kind of in the middle. I'm not sure if they're going to get sucked down. You can see there comes Alex Tanker, Ray Davis, Thomas Green, Willie Decker, and I believe that's the one machine of Jack Darby that are all catching up. We got a pack of cars battling here for this ninth place position. It's anyone's race. 
as the cars head through the tri-oval. There's Brendan Patterson after the, we got smoke, smoke, and oh, contact! There's a wreck! Ryan Benoit, the car, the, something's gonna go on that, it's gonna crash, and it looks like, uh, Joseph Bryant's gonna get some damage. Thomas Green got sent all the way down to the, the inside, and now it's a race back for the position. There's Thomas Green, he's currently listed as the ninth place driver. We'll have to see if he keeps it going to the line, and I'm not sure how he's listed or how he's still on track after that contact by Brian Benoit. But the number 95, Thomas Green, he currently has a good distance on Willie Decker. Decker not having any drafting partners to help him get up there. Looks like Thomas Green is going to get the ninth and final transfer spot into the race. Let's take a look at what happened here exactly. Now Brian Benoit was running up there in the top nine. When all of a sudden the engine's going to let go and that car's just going to dive right into Thomas Green. Thomas Green drives to the apron but somehow saves it even going into the grass. The 75 car goes up the track, gets into Joseph Bryan, looks like Cruz Littlejohn who got pushed back in the pack is going to get some damage off it. This is on board with Thomas Green, car number 95, let's see how he survived this. As he goes, heavy contact, some damage to the right side. Dives into the grass, somehow does not wreck the number 95 machine. As you see, teammate Zach Saturday and the Menards Dollar General Ford working the way to the outside. This is on board with Ray Davis, runner 06. We see how he avoided this. He really breaks it. Whoa! That was a close call. Unfortunately, having to slow down that much cost him a lot of track position. And it looks like he's not going to be able to make it. Here's one more angle of the incident, as you can see. Man, Thomas Green, that is some skillful driving on the number 95 car's part. As unfortunately, Brian Benoit is not going to be able to finish this race. But, it's a plus side for one of the Benoit's. It's Justin Benoit, car number 22, who's also the leader in the qualifier series, is going to win the qualifier event ahead of second in points, Matt Duell. So both of them will be in the race. Let's take a look at the list of all nine drivers that are qualified for the event. Justin Benoit, Matt Duell, Jonathan Benton making his debut start. Vladimir Petrov, Jerry Guerra, Andrew Robinson, Alex Tanker, and then the Phoenix, Indiana Motorsports cars of Saturday and Green, both of them making their first start. Let's take a look at the drivers that sadly were unable to qualify for today's race. Willie Decker, Jack Darby, Michael Creed, Dion Scott, Estados Cortez, Josh, uh, Joseph Bryant, um, Dylan Young, Alex DeMarco, Joshua Michaels, Brendan Patterson, Ray Davis, Michael Aurelio, Nick Cass, Prudence Littlejohn, and Brian Benoit. Now lastly, let's take a look at the Qualifier Series standings. Justin Benoit still on top, 8 points ahead of Matt Duell. Then there's Andrew Robinson and Estavis Cortez. Vladimir Petrov is 5th, Alex DeMarco is 6th, Willie Decker is 7th, Ray Tacula, who isn't in the Qualifier Series anymore, 8th, Tanker 9th, and Young 10th. Then the rest of the points after that. Well, I hope to see you for the full race at Daytona. It should be a great race. I will see you then. Thank you for watching.